Hi, I am reviewing the Dr. Green Pet All Natural Flea Tick Repellent. And let me tell you what, when I turned the bottle over to look and be to look and see what ingredients there were, I didn't find a list of ingredients. So I sent an email to the vendor and they responded the same day within hours. So I'm going to read to you the list of ingredients that they sent me. They said that they use 100% pure therapeutic grade clove, peppermint, cinnamon, and cedar oils. And they explained that they now have new labels with all of the ingredients listed on it so you know what you're putting on your pet. But that they didn't realize that the old bottles were still in circulation. They thought they had been exhausted. So that's kudos to them for responding so quickly with all that information. I certainly want to know what I'm putting on my pet, even if it's natural. <laughs> so here we go. This is the bottle that you get, and it comes in a plastic that I am opening up right now, and I am going to try it on my dog. Now, I am going to tell you that I have worked with essential oils before, and I have used them on my pet. I have two dogs. One is an inside dog, Lola. No, that's Princess. And the other is an outside dog, and that one is Lola because she's crazy. So I call her Lola La Loca. But anyway, going back to the Dr. Green pet, I, um, I've used them before and they really do help keep the little pests off of the dog. I uh, think that the best recommendation is to first clean the dog of any infestation, clean your house of any infestation, and then go ahead and maintain your dog free of future infestation by using a product such as this one that has the essential oils that I just mentioned and that I said I've used before and they've been really good. But I don't want to be mixing them, so this is great. The instructions say you shake the bottle well, shake it, shake it, yes, that's what I did, and then you go ahead and you put the spritzer, sh um, the spritzer top on it and then you're good to go. I am going to go ahead and put some on my dog right now. I don't know if she's going to cooperate, so we'll see. Oh, that smells nice. Oh, yeah. I like the smell. It's not overpowering, but it is very pleasant. So definitely much more pleasant than any chemicals you would use, right? So let's see if I can get Princess over here now. Hold on for a second. Princess, honey, you're the star now. Come on. Come here, baby. Come here. Come on up. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm going to give her some help. Here's Princess. Say hi, Princess. She doesn't want to say hi. So I'm going to let her smell it. Ah, she's not having any aversion to it. And now I am going to pet her with it. Very nice. Oh, she likes that. Now you like it, right? You didn't know what I was calling you for. There you go. So she's a happy camper, a happy camper. I am a happy camper. She's still getting pet and she's still getting the uh, Dr. Green um, flea and tick repellent. So I like this product. Yes, it does smell good. I'm going to be happy. She wants more. <laughs> And she's going to be happy. So um, I received this product free so that I could give you an honest review. And honestly, there's nothing negative you can say about it. It's all natural. These ingredients have been proven to be good deterrents for pests. And it's not going to do any harm to your dog or yourself. So keep a happy home free of chemicals. Thank you. If you have any questions, please write them down below. I answer all of my questions and I like receiving comments as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.